Hey everybody, it is Blake at the elementary, and I have a surprise for you. Nothing is broken today, there are no repairs. Instead, we're gonna make an improvement. There's just stuff everywhere, like inventory is super difficult, specifically in a cold box. Let me show you what that means. Okay, so this is a box. That is a cold box. Cold box is a giant refrigerator. And inside that cold box is where we keep a lot of beer. So as you can see, with that flashing light, I said nothing was broken, but now that light is flashing. That's for another video. But you can see, keeping track of inventory in a cold box can be a bit of a challenge. So why is that so much of a challenge, you might ask? Well, it's mainly because of human nature, and it's a brewery. So. All of that stuff in that coal box is eventually going to be shipped out. Uh, but until then, it's got to be stored in there. And that means that every day as things get shipped out, things get moved around, things get shuffled around, pallets that are stacked on top of each other might be rearranged every day. Um, so coming up with an interesting, easy, and unique way to keep track of that is a challenge. Not just for us, but for a lot of breweries. But Blake, you ask, what about all the beer that's not in the cold box? Well, all the beer out here is not in the cold box because it's in process of getting picked and packed and wrapped for shipment, either at the end of the day today or first thing tomorrow morning. Everything in the cold box is stuff that's going to be with us for a little while and kegs because you always have to keep kegs cold. Okay, so now cue all the people who are like, Blake, you're supposed to keep the beer cold all the time. It's better for freshness. I know that. But two things. One is, you can't really work in a cold box. So if you're going to restack a bunch of pallets or if you're going to wrap them in shrink wrap, then they kind of have to be out on the warehouse floor. And the other is, any brewer who tells you that uh, cold box space is infinite and therefore we don't have to make choices is a straight up liar. So we do keep all of our beer in the cold box, just when you're working on it, um, you do have to pull some things out. And if they're waiting for shipments, uh, you have to pull them out a little bit in advance because what you don't want in really humid weather like we're having in New Jersey right now is to pull something straight out of the cold box, put some shrink wrap on it, uh, and then throw it on a truck. Because if you do that, then uh, the cans they end up sweating and they actually can do a lot of damage to the cardboard tray that's holding the cases. Um, and it can also promote mold growth in the top of the can. So we're trying to mitigate a lot of these factors, especially when it's like 72,000 degrees outside like it is today. Okay, now on to the project. In a team meeting a couple weeks back, we decided that we needed a better way keep track of the inventory in the cold box and figure out where everything was easily. We had a clipboard with a map on there and you were supposed to write on it when you move things around and none of that works at all. So rather than do that, we came up with this idea of the inventory control board. Let me show you what that looks like. So this is what the inventory control board looks like. It's a blue board that is screwed into the side of the cold box. Now on this, what we're going to do is invent a little system that holds note cards up there for all of the pallet spots that are in the cold box. And that's gonna allow us to very quickly and easily tag what is in what pallet spot. Okay, so I wanna be super clear here on the problem we're trying to solve. So now that was kind of fast. Um, but basically you have a cold box, right, which is a giant refrigerator where we store beer. And um, in there we have pallets stacked on top of each other and things move around constantly and it's very difficult to keep track of what is where and what is on each pallet. It's just sort of the nature of the business. 
we've tried all kinds of different ways of doing this. We've tried um, a clipboard with a map where people write on it. That didn't work. We've tried tagging individual pallets. That also doesn't work very well. So we came up with this idea of an inventory board uh, that has cards that we can easily move around to make things easier. So I showed you the blue board, which is the beginning of that. And because we do a lot of our own engineering here, of course, we have a 3D printer. Um, it's a regular Prusa Mark III that I did the, the bear upgrade on. So using Fusion 360 and the 3D printer, we created these card holders right here. Um, so it's kind of an interesting shape thing like that um, that has a 3x5 note card that slides into it like that. So here's a slightly better look at this thing. So the idea is that we'll have some number of these card holders on that inventory board arrayed in a pattern that looks like the pallet spots that are in the cold box over there. And then we'll have three by five note cards in a little bin so you can write what is on any particular pallet spot, the top and bottom pallet. And when that changes, you can either write directly on this card, scratch it out, do something, or just take the card, throw it away, and put a new one in there. So if there is no card in one of these, then that should be an empty pallet spot in the cold box. If there is a card in it, then that card should have written on it what is on that pallet spot. So yeah, so this was 3D printed by us here on our Prusa Mark III. Nice, easy print out of PETG, easy design in Fusion 360. And these will get double-sided taped to the inventory control board. And you can see here, I got a whole box of these things. So to stick everything on there, I use this, uh, come on focus, this Gorilla brand double-sided tape. Um, stuff is pretty awesome, sticks to just about anything. Uh, so that's on the back of all of these, and then they're just pressed into place. And there you have it, a completed inventory control board. So here's the thing that we saw printing holder for extra cards and what have you. And I made a additional Sharpie holder for that side. And then here are the card holders. So in every one of these spots, the inventory card can slide right in there like that. So that represents, in this case, the third spot from the left on the fourth row from the back. And look at that. Look at that. Every one of those pallet spots absolutely documented perfectly with all of the contents. And then that is reflective of the contents of the cold box. Not sure if you can hear that, but it is raining cats and dogs outside right now. Anyway, so that was a super fun project to build and you know, very easy. It only took a few hours on the 3D printer and a little bit of effort with the paint. And 
actually solves a pretty significant problem for us. So, uh, yeah, super fun. Uh, as always, all of our 3D designs will be posted up on our GitHub, the Elementary GitHub, with a whole library of 3D designs just for things for breweries. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and take a look at it. I'll put a link in the description. Hope you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.